It's a slow start. After harvesting the second, and it was close, the second largest beef carcass our butcher has ever seen. Way to go, Stud Muffin. La, la, let, la, la, let me be free. Hey, good morning. Feeling okay? Yeah. Oh, good. Did you have a big day yesterday? Mm-hmm. Really? Good morning. Hi. Jacked up my hands yesterday. Hope I can train this morning. Back's a little tweaked. Feet are hurting. Just kinked my neck. Do I acknowledge it? Pain is my friend. It's trying to tell me something. And imagine a day when I just wake up spry and just come out here and sling this ghetto bell. Oh, got a bit of work to do processing the Organs? Are testicles organs? Well, I might have to not do anything with that fat. To store it better. Figure out something to do with the heart. Happy day and welcome to another day in the life of a homesteading family growing food for our health. We're fixing to make some A2A2 raw yogurt. The stuff in the fridge, liver, it's gotta be the best food in the world. We harvested it yesterday from our precious bull. Stud muffin, so we better make the best use of everything. Counting numbers on the remodel. Um, I think I'd rather food process. Now, how to get the kids to do this. Come on, kids! Okay, gotta figure out what to do with stud muffin. His nuts, let's fry them up, Keep, eat them fresh over the next two, three days. The heart, it's just big. Yeah, it's huge. Is it okay with you? We're gonna have a lot of ground beef. Can we just mm -hmm. have them grind it up, just sporadically put it in there? I'm totally we'll fine. We'll probably never that. even know. Yeah. Plus, heart tastes pretty good. It does. It's it's actually not bad. Liver. I have an idea. Uh huh. Let's take it into chunks, freeze it into individual chunks, okay. and then we can thaw that out, and you can put it in a food processor, and it will like liquefy basically oh. and then put that in the ground beef. I'm a little sketched out because we got so messy. Yeah, there was too much. Um, uh, I feel like it does need to cook. Oh, grinding it up and putting it like in taco meat. We cooked the heck out of that. We cook it a so lot, yes. Yeah, so we we're gonna it, have so to. We don't eat it rare. The fat, I just take to the butcher to add to the hamburger, right? Correct. You need to call them. You did good, my man. Let's call my favorite butchers. How's my favorite butcher? Oh boy. Every day is bring your kid to work day on the homestead. He's an old guy, so I need to think about that. Yeah, what would we do? What do you want to do with him, right? You want some roast off of him? Nacho. Oh, Nacho. Or do you just want to have. Yeah, that was his name. Nacho Libre. Yes, he's through. I am Nacho. Can I bring you some suet to add to him? He's going to be awful lean. Yeah, how did they do that? How can I, how can I be like, I want this to be 20% or 25% fat. Oh, we just take, we'll do a ratio plan. Oh, that wasn't helpful while I was on the phone, guys. Okay, good news. All we gotta do is get rid of the fat. We don't have to process that. We don't have to process the heart. Let's take it now. Uh, we do, we need to go deal with the liver. Serious liver. Would you look at that? Oh, yeah. would you look at it? Yeah. You looked at it. I looked at it. Very good. I kept looking at it. And you was looking I, and looking I, and looking? I kept looking. Did you get down and look under here like this? Oh, Sean's here. Come on, you bring that liver, Jonah, and cutting board. You going? Yeah. Our homestead house remodel. Let's not call it a remodel anymore. Oh, no. It's pretty much a rebuild. Our homestead rebuild continues. Knock, knock. Hey, sleepyhead. <laughs> hey, I've been editing. I've been working. You've probably been up all night, haven't uh -huh. you? Yep. Okay, I got a special treat for you at lunch. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, it's Cheers. not liver. <laughs> you need more food service trays and oh, wait, 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 baking sheets. Take that. Y'all ready to grind? Jonah, come on, you're gonna have to have to have this head this up. I don't think Gideon's the man for that. You put it in there and he can push it through. Put it all in. Find a way. You know, he's excited. He doesn't do a whole lot. It's handy having somebody like you, Jonah. Oh, oh wait, that's not working. That's gonna be tricky to freeze. If you freeze it in little teaspoon amounts, you can just throw that in there with the thing. I don't know what to do. We have a bunch of food service trays where we're gonna freeze it. And then you just get it out and cut it. And we can break it off. 
Mm -hmm. It'll be like chips. I think we have to just put it out on this pretty thin so that after it freezes, we'll be able to break pieces off. Jonah, save a few fresh ones on the plate, okay? Okay, that's probably enough. Oh, okay, this will work. I think there is a dog throwing it. This is so gross. And we are done. And Jonah just said the coolest, sweetest thing any son can say to his hardworking dad. Tell him what you said to me. You can go and do something else and I'll clean up. You're growing up. That's man. That's man talk. A little bit of lunch. I'm kind of running with the work crew and want some of that. I would love to give them some testicles too. I wonder if they'd be good sports for that. I know Austin will be. Are you going to stay and help clean up, Henry? Or do you want to go with me? He's going to go. He's so busy. Every day is bring your kid to work day when you work for abundant permaculture. Hey, how to check in with you. How's hey, for your mom anyway. Say hey mom. Hey mom. <laughs> Lucy, thank you for watching the show. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you, got, you raised a gem. We're gonna sear up some liver and we're gonna fry up some balls. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Delicious. <laughs> My dad tried? would be proud. You ever tried? Um, uh, uh, Appalachian oysters. My dad would be proud. Okay, good. Well, yeah. what's his name? Greg. Hey, Greg. Greg. Coming up, Greg. Hang in tight. We're gonna give everybody a treat. The workers and everything. Your face, though. Did they like it? Oh yeah, they were excited. They ate the liver. No, they, uh, they're gonna take some for lunch. Oh, okay, you're gonna cook. Hey, I other cultures Mama, appreciate the whole I animal. I understand that. So I good. understand that I, I'm go. different. I'm different, yeah, I'm different. The crew got so excited when I told them about the testicles, I had to just show, I'm, I'm gonna have to go show them. Like, look at that, look how big that is. Um, Will you make the breading? Um, I'll make the breading. All right. Ooh, let's go offer this to Big Daddy for lunch. Big Daddy's here. Oh my. This is lunch. <laughs> you coming down? No. I don't like <laughs> that's, that's what your daughter said. I don't like that. That's his testicle. Here's the thing. Stud muffin is an old bull. He's <laughs> super tough. We're just gonna get his fatty roast, things that we're gonna cook low, low and slow. He's gonna be tough. He's gonna be he's gonna be lean. We'll get the tenderloin. We'll get the um, Chuck roast. Maybe the New York strips will be soft if they're attached to the tenderloin. We'll get the brisket, but it won't be a barbecue. It'll be a slow roast. It's a fat piece. And all the rest will be hamburger. That's where this comes in. Ugh. This is botten suet, which is beef fat to mix in with his ground burger. I like a 25% fat ground burger. None of this 7% ridiculousness. Actually, if you're one of these lean meat people, first, I'm sorry, but Second, you might want to eat an old cow because they're very lean and he's probably only 7% fat as he is. 100 pounds of ground beef, three coolers. Uh, that would be enough for 300 pounds of ground beef. We might have double that. We might have to get another hundred pounds. I think they're trying the locust. Oh yeah. He's having to drill. It's hard wood, isn't it? Yeah. We got this from the wood. Oh yeah? Yeah. I'm afraid the locust was so hard they wouldn't be able to screw into it very easily. But it seems to be going okay. Become a man today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I went and showed the, the work crew over there and they're like, there it is, peeled. I'm definitely doing this the southern way. I've cut these into bite-sized pieces. The liver and heart. Frying some butter. Let's go onions. On today's episode of Burn It Up Cooking Show, testicles, heart, and liver. Got the onions fried. Now I'm gonna add liver to this one, heart to this one. I like I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, you're all along for an experiment. I'm not telling you how to do it. I'm telling you what I'm doing. If it turns out, you can do it. From what I understand, we don't want to cook this all the way through. We just want to sear it. Jonah, you grab the plate. Austin, you want to grab this one? Oh good, they broke for lunch. Mas comida. Mas comida. Como se dice liver? Hígado. Testicles. Testículos. Como se dice heart? Corazón. 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 I just make sure one just ready. Oh. This actually good. Okay. What? It's like calamari. Yeah, the heart. Have you had heart before? 
Oh, no, I have not. Right? That's good too. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting it for Henry. What do you think, Jose? Did I do a good job? Yeah. yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay, good. But you try. I want to spit it out. So good. It's good? Yeah. Yeah, if you don't tell him, you will just you go at it. It's good for you. Your plate's empty. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> and anything deep fried, I mean. Oh, no. <laughs> Been working on some stud muffin stuff. First, a t-shirt to honor him. Always had this idea to, wouldn't it be cool to have a shirt for men? He said stud muffin, and it was a likeness of stud muffin himself. Snuck a little bit of our liver flake into this. Let's see if anybody notices. Hannah, can you scooch? Nobody's noticing. Is that good? Henry, is it good? Everybody like the meat? Yeah. That's good because there's a little bit of stud in it. Oh, is it his liver? Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah. Sweet. It all liquefied, Rebecca, when it went through the grinder. So we froze it in sheets and then just broke it I think that's good, like into cookies. Bark. bark. And we're just going to put bark in the spaghetti and the Mexican. He's going to eat all his meat. Hey, did you swallow a watermelon? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Lord, I let, Lord, I let me be free.